go all right there now give me a couple of minutes to put some music on drag a comb through me air i will be wearing my hat though because it seems seems right um uh, and then make a cup of tea and then we'll have a little chat i mean it doesn't have to be a little chat it could be a long chat i'm not in any rush to get this out the way i think you deserve an explanation i think you deserve a conversation many many of you deserve a lot more than that you've been brilliant over the years um but, but yeah <laughs> feels a bit like that wasn't it i was sitting here watching the time going you've got to start this right all right leave it out it's too early for that kind of stuff right okay um so what we're doing we're gonna play a bit of music uh comb the air make a cup of tea put me out on sit down and have a chat get a bit of audio on there there will be mistakes um just to prove that this is authentic and it is me we will uh we will make uh mistakes for sure so i'll see you in about two minutes ten seconds All right there. I made my first video about four and a half years ago. It was about how to be a good comedian. It wasn't really. It was about how to be a terrible comedian because I found one on the internet and I thought I'll just use him. I'm with you on that, Grant. This isn't um, most delightful. This isn't too sad. I'm not going to... I'm not going to, we'll, we'll, at, at some point we'll have to get over the reality of it's quite bleak. There, there is, there is, there is a couple of things coming that might, um, might take the uh, edge off a little bit, but this does actually feel very sad for me. You know, I've been through a hell of a lot with this channel. It's hard graft. When I when I spoke to Chris Worski, Andy Worski's brother, I interviewed him as a for a channel for a video, and then afterwards he said, uh, 
is not enough uh, i'll block you though if anyone says anything pathetic you don't get to join in my last video you get to sit on your own again like you do most nights um i said to him, what advice would you give anyone um who was setting up a youtube channel and without a wisp without a blink he said get a lawyer or i think he might have said solicitor or get a lawyer and i laughed and there was no there was nothing in his face of humor he, he meant it he meant he meant every word of it sorry there's something something making it like there's a danger fields eclipse occurring still there hang on hang on let me see if it's on the exterior it would appear to have either got it or moved anyway now when i spoke to andy warski brother of chris warski and i said what would you what advice would you give to someone setting up a youtube channel and he said get some friends and equally as with brother warski no humor no no irony get some friends that's what he said and i was like okay well you know this is the, oh you know i was in the early days i had about a thousand subscribers that i managed to get because dev and tracy mirrored a video i made i met up with uh devon in a in a in a cafe in uh in london and and as devon has said since if we'd have got if we'd have put that up on on youtube there would have been some uh comments <laughs> it was quite the comment um i don't need that up. right i'm going to we are not broadcast broadcasting on twitch um because it would be weird saying that this is the the last broadcast on twitch and you know rags rags knows it's only rags <laughs> rags had his own he, he had his own little danger filled room which was nice but i am i am gonna do the grift if i've been accused of grifting for four and a half years there is no way on earth i am not gonna set up the grift for my final video i'm just not that's not happening And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, no, I'm not still doing Twitch. Twitch is over. Twitch, it's all, all, I, I will not be doing any, I'm not moving to Odyssey. I'll set up an Odyssey account. I'm closing it down. I've, I've already haven't got a bit shoot. I don't want to do this anymore. And I will explain to you why. And there's various, various reasons. Like, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Mons Lab already on it. <laughs> I haven't felt this rough in years. And some of the things I've done to my body and my mind over the years for, for YouTube to have finally done me in is, is incredible. You know, I've gone out and done about 18 E's with a mate. And that was the pre-party because we were going out the next day with some mates for a party. And it was like, well, since we're in Soho, we might as well have a, a little party. <laughs> um, I, I, my odyssey has only just started, but I, that'll be going but this is what this is what will be happening thank you steve that's very kind of you farewell bud and much like you got it in he got in much love from skegness he's been saying it for years it's quite sweet thank you steve 
Rambling man has been watching his channel from about the third video. He says, this man is like a cat. He'll end up on his legs no matter how you throw him. Well, I hope so. I hope so this time because I, I know this is a sacrifice. I know this is a sacrifice, you know. Uh, rambling man, thank you for hanging around for so long. Um, YouTube is, let me get this damn grift out of the way, and then I've got to oh, verify myself. Well, I suppose this is the last time I'll have to do it. Enter the code that they haven't sent me. Okay, I'll do that. The, thing, the fingerprint, uh, fingerprint thing f stopped working on my phone. You know, the, pho the new phone I bought because the fingerprint thing stopped working on my old phone. <laughs> it's all right, though. They're snide Cambodians. They're like 120 quid for an iPhone 7. Sweet. <laughs> I'll take two. But, sir, they, they don't work. Sir, not work. Only work for three months. No, it's all right. It's, I, I see it as renting. <laughs> but I've got a sweet, I've got a sweet, sweet story that my missus, uh, that involves my missus. She's all confused. She, I've got a sweet. She, she doesn't understand why I'm stopping it because she, she rightly thinks I love it. She rightly thinks I love it. And that's true. You know, we accidentally built a community and a really good community and we proved you could do it in a, in a place where, you know, when I set my, when, when, I, when I put that um, video up, when, when Devon Tracy, um, oh, thank you, Rambling Man, for that uh, sentiment. It was lovely. When, when Rambling, um, Rambling Man, when, um, oh, what was his bloody name? I don't know what I'm bloody talking about now. Getting all confused. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Let me just deal with that. Nice one, Jess. She says, Chris, I'm watching at work now, so I can't have the sound on. You helped me through lockdown. I damn near top myself if it weren't for you and the scrubs. I love you all so much. I wish everyone the best. Jess, there may well still be somewhere to go. It's just not going to be visual, okay? So that's a, an absolutely lovely thing to say, but we'll come back to that. So if you can't watch this... Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll talk about that at the end. And so if you're having those kinds of problems, because you because you wear a, a Sub Ronnie T-shirt, I want you to hear the information. I'll, I'll, I'll drop out at the end, okay? Or, or I might even ping you an email. If I, I, Of course I've got your email. I'll, I'll do that. Oh, yeah, I remember what I was saying now. Let me just remember what I was saying before we, uh, before I finish getting this grift done. So when Devon Tracy, Jess, if you don't hear the bit at the end, send me an email. That's the best way of doing it because there is, there is still going to be access to me and my words, all right? That's going to happen. So don't all, oh, it's not as bad as it looks. It's just going to be very different. It's going to be writing. Anyway, um, so when I said to Devon, thanks, man, I said, you've given me 2,000 subscribers overnight. And when you go from 300 to, to 2,300, you think you're a YouTuber. And you, and you lay down in bed and you're like, fucking hell. By the end of the month, I might have 3,000. One day I could have 10,000. <gasps> One day I could have 15,000. And I got to like 26,000 before they started tinkering. And then it just started going, <laughs> and you couldn't find me and you couldn't look for my um, expected, expected. They wanted shot on me. I got rid of all my naughty videos. So they done something else. They made me unfindable. You can find me occasionally. I think that's why they call it shadow banning. You know, shadow is it's 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 like a partial part of a person. Uh, so it's you know you're out there. You, if if you if you're lucky, you can find the channel. But on the whole, your channel has stopped growing. 
I went, I, I used to be on 50 new subs a day. At one point, I was getting 50 new subs a day. And then when it all started happening, when the SJW movement all kicked in, I just saw it go 50, 49, 48, 30, 25. And then I started so it going minus two, minus four. And one day, minus, minus 12,000. Well, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, they're bots and things. Yeah, okay, if, if you say so, if you say so. Uh, anyway, so when 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 Devon gave me, uh, mirrored this video, and I had uh, 2,000 new scrubs, scrubs? Look, I'm so, I'm so into this, this, this is very emotional. When I when I got two thousand new subs, I said to him, I said, Devon, I can't thank you enough. I've got two thousand new subs, and he said to me in the same tone as Chris and Andy Worski, he went, "They're your problem now." And I didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't, I didn't understand it. I thought, "What? Well, it's the best best news I've had all year. Two thousand new subscribers." Your problem now, good Lord. Thank you, Zen Maverick. Very kind of you. Very kind of you. You've uh, you've been hilarious. I don't know why you don't set up your own channel. You're one of those people. Rusky Chew. Thank you, John Smith. These are all very kind donations. Rusky Tube, you should set up a channel as well. Just just naturally and naturally funny and very fast as well. IR, hello, mate. Is it better to jump or be pushed? I really don't know. Well, at this stage, Mouse Cat dropped 50 quid into um, Entropy. He said, here's a last donation on the tubes. It's been good, mate. I understand. Bye. And that's what that. Um, thank you, John Smith. Hang on, what's going on here? Where are we going? Hang on. Get these out of order. I'll be in all sorts of trouble. So we've done Zen Maverick. We've done that one. Hello, Randall. We've been asking about you. People have been asking where you are. Thank you, Zen Maverick. We've done that. Thank you, John Smith. I'm just doing this so I don't miss them. If you look on it, if you look on entropy, there's a small thank you. Yeah, that was Mouse Cat who dropped me that bullseye. And you and your missus have been what, what a pleasure to get to know the pair of you. What a wonderful couple of people you are. I think we'll probably still have an IRL in England. I mean, more than half of the people would have probably got bored of it. Who, Chris? Who? But um. I'd imagine Mouse Cat and his missus would turn up. It'd be lovely to meet him. John Morton dropped a cockle. Thank you very much for all the great streams. I came for the politics and stayed for the fun and community. It really helped me through the lockdown. You're a good dude. Thank you, John. That's a very nice sentiment, and thank you for the cockle as well. <coughs> it's really hard keeping a... Um, I will explain, don't worry. Ah, Mr. Solway, thank you very much, sir. You've been a, 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 an excellent contributor in the chat. Thank you very much. Fion says, this is unbelievable. If you go, hopefully you'll be back. No, I won't be back. I won't be back to any, any video hosting platforms. Here's what I will say. Give it a year or two. If someone asks me on their channel for as a guest spot, I might I might do that. I might do something like that to, to promote a book or a novel or something. But I, I won't be I won't be setting up my own video um, hosting platform. No way. Treus X dropped to Phil Saliva. Thank you very much, mate very kind there's a lot of questions being asked and i will deal with them i will deal with them i just don't want to um get miss these out because people have put their hands in their pockets 
Little Red said, fun was had. Sorry to see you go. Yeah, thank you, Little Red. You've been very generous and uh, you've, you've contributed to the chat a lot. Schrodinger's Gaffney. Gaffney, you remind me a little bit of Moslab, the kind of bloke that in real life would probably be complete strangers to each other. If not dislike each other, but somehow we've uh, managed to form some kind of friendship and uh, you've been you've you've been a you've been a cool member of the team thanks and thanks for the cockle and and thanks for you thanks for the laughs you provided as well i know manny moo i know i know i sort of don't i sort of don't rise and shine says i'm excited for you that's a that's a that's a, that's a nice sentiment. I appreciate that. Hello, Mark. I've known Mark since I was 11 years old, and I said to him, I said to him earlier about 8 o'clock, I said, I'm quitting YouTube, mate. And he said, without, without any, he didn't have to think about it at all. He said, I'll tell you what, I'll read you out exactly what he said so that I don't, I, I don't misquote it. I'll tell you exactly what he said. He said, I don't blame you. I, I would have lasted a week. <laughs> yes, you will. Even if it's me, you and your husband. Yes, good call, Sean. Good call. There's always a, there's a, there'll always be places when you hear certain things being spoken about. You know, it might be time for a splink. You know, you might it might be time for a funkus. You know. I will be explaining things. I, I promise you. Oh, look, I'm in no rush. I'm in, I'm no no way am I rushing my last stream. I, I'm here. If you're if there's going to be people sitting here watching, I'll be talking. And there's a lot to talk about. A lot has happened, and there's a lot of reasons. It's not just the one thing why why I'm leaving. Um, but um, it's got to go. Hello, Jared. You're thinking too much. You can just hang out when you're in the mood. Regulars don't expect much. It's not like that, Jared. You can't. You can't. YouTube are taking hundreds, hundred subscribers off me a week. Is it is it a week or is it a month? Either way, there's nothing I can do to grow my channel. There's nothing I can do to grow it. They, it will not grow. They don't want it to grow. That's one. That's one element. That's one. That's one part of it, and and it's, it's what I could do if I were to make one-off videos. You remember, like the old one-off videos, not streams, because they get in new subscribers, but only like twenty, and they take about four hours at least. You got to script it. You got to think about it. You got to research it. You got to have something to say. You got to upload it. You got to edit it. And that and and that's just a lot. That's just too much time for twenty subscribers. Because when am I going to do another one? And and slowly the channel just. And also because because of that, it, it's the algorithm affects it more and more. I appreciate what you're saying, Jared. I appreciate your presence here as well. You've been funny and and interesting, and obviously thanks for the fiver. Shell Bob, Shell Bob's, Shell Bob's come out of nowhere, and she was one of the highest ranking scrubs I've seen in minutes. No words. Thank you for everything you've done, Chris. Love you, Chris and Scrubbage. I'll miss you all. Very kind, Shell Bob's. You, you just done it. You just, you just, you just turned up and went. All right, I'm a scrub. That's how it's going to work from now on. <laughs> and everyone was like, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of thing we we uh we want around here. 
Well, Stephen, this is a lovely story. This is a lovely story. And people people are sending entropies. Don't worry, I won't I won't miss them. Let me tell you this lovely story. Stephen Jones says, are you going to afford the apartment? When I said to my missus, I said to her earlier, I said, because she's noticed a change in me uh, over the last few weeks. And I said, I'm, I'm quitting YouTube. I'm, I'm, I didn't say quitting because there is a, not a, a nat's chance in hell that she's going to know what quitting means. But we got out the old, the old translators and I said, I'm, I'm not doing YouTube anymore. And she sort of was all confused. And I explained to her a few reasons why and blah, 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 blah. And I said, and there'll be a, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll lose a, a fair amount of money. I mean, it's not as much as people think. Pe people or people who call, listen to this, people who call me grifters, you get, say I get £100 on a, on a, on a stream. YouTube take their 30 quid, that's 70. British government take their 40 quid. <laughs> no, sorry, they're 40%. So what's that? Um, let's say, let's call it, I'm left with 45 quid. Uh, that's that's 45, 45 quid I'm left with. I think there's a couple of others on the on the way as well. And uh, it, 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 it all adds up. And then it all it all shrinks. Now it's still it's still money, but people say to you, it's free money, free money though, isn't it? No, it's four hours a day, two hours streaming in the morning, sometimes an hour, sometimes two and a half hours. Average is about an hour and forty five. That's not free. That's time, and time is money. And and when it when it turns out I'm earning about. 80 quid for four hours work bearing in mind i am sacrificing four hours work that i could be doing on my in real life business four hours work in my in real life business isn't 45 quid it's grands yes that's split between about 10 people but it's a it's a business it's like saying to a bricklayer or, or a roofer or a plumber, someone who earns proper money, hey, oi, roofer, oi, felt roofer, who earns £800 a day. And I'm saying that I know the bloke I'm talking about. That's how it comes I know the figures. I say to him, take four of those hours out, will you, and, and, and sit and talk to people for, for, for three or four hours every day on something interesting, something exciting, something about what's going on in the news, something about yourself every day. I'm not moaning, people. I'm not moaning. I'm just saying. And also, take that four hours plus the hour or maybe two hours that you've got to watch of YouTube daily to know what's going on in the news, what's going on in internet culture, what's going on in America. So we could call it five, sometimes six hours, and you can't you can't be doing felt roofs. You can't be doing felt roofs during that time. So you're going to lose all that money. That's some grift, right? <laughs> that is some fucking grift. <laughs> so that that's what made me laugh. I I got accused of being a grifter when I was a nationalist. When I said I was a nationalist. I got accused of being a grifter when I said I wasn't going to call myself a nationalist. And the truth is, the whole thing has been an anti-grift. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the missus. I talked to her about um, YouTube and all that. And uh, she sees me doing all my numbers and all my tax and all that. And screwing it up and throwing it at the wall and going, fucking hell, and doing all that and getting really annoyed with it. And I said, when I was telling her about YouTube today, she said, is it the money? And I went, hey, I went, I went, no, I went, oh, don't, don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. 
And she said, no, I'm just, maybe I could get a job in a, I could get a job in a bar or in a cafe. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Because they're the two jobs she's had since she's moved to Phnom Penh. She worked in a cafe and it was like $50 a, a, a month. And then she worked in the bar. So it was, uh, it was very weird. It was heartbreaking though when she said it though. I, I, I you know. But the, when when you ask about things like the apartment, when I I don't want to I, I want to be a writer. This book ain't getting written. How can I do four hours a day and run my business and keep my apartment tidy and cook and have a girlfriend and occasionally relax for ten minutes here and there and finish my novel? It, it's just not happening, is it? It's been it's been fucking years. And now I've got my editor transcribing all my stories. I want to get covers on them. I want to get I want to get them all formatted. I want to get them on Kindle Desktop Publishing, and I want to start making money over there. And I want to start making money doing what I really want to do, which is writing. I want this novel out. I want you all to read this novel. And don't get me wrong, I do love the, the scrubs and it's a good laugh and we come on and we have a, have a couple of hours chat and it's all funny, but that doesn't mean the same to me as a novel. Doesn't mean the same to me. The Crack Diaries 1, 2 and 3 are all transcribed. So now I'm going to take them, now I've got some time, and I'll go through them from the start, add all the stuff I missed out, change a few bits, blah, blah, blah. And you'll be out of order for a decent price in, and you'll have to wait, you have to wait three months in between the crack diaries, the full version. Cause that version on, on YouTube is probably about, I, I, I never really know, probably about 40 or 50% of what really happened. So that's a lot. That's like a, that's like a livener for you. That is. And so I can write. I want to write. I, you know, I, I've been saying I want to be a writer since I was about 20. And, it, and it, it's always next year. Next year I'll have time. Next year I'll have time. And then I find myself doing something else and I get caught into something else. Well, now, this year, I aim to publish four or five books. The, 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 the Dirty Cleaning in between, the one I've been working on for years, the Crack Diaries, which is I count as one, but it, it will be three separate books and two books of shorts. And uh, that's what I'll be doing. That's what I'll be doing to uh, hopefully um, add a bit of money to the coffers. Sean says... I'm getting fed up of how little content creators regard their communities they built up. Not in this case, necessarily. Well, Sean, it's a lot of work. I've been doing it for nearly five years every day. You know, Sean, you know, I could say this to you. Sean, set up a channel. Set up a channel. Call it, call it, call it Scrubs Extra. And all the scrubs who want to come to it can come and, and have their parties and you, and stream. See how long you last. I'm not saying you won't. You might you might blow my one out of the water. It might make me look like an absolute spaz. But why do you think so many creators do disappear? It's a lot, it's a lot of stress. I was in the times. I was in the Times newspaper grooming Nazi teenagers. What? <laughs> I don't want to wake up and read that. I don't want to wake up and my mum read that. I'm going to look at some entropies quickly. 
Can't show boobs. Oh, hang on. Let me just uh, let me just do foot golf's coming home. This is this is Griff. This is Griff from um, uh, the Swansea Call Centre. My friend Richard. I'm about to have my first sip of tea, people. If anyone wants to join me, we're going to count down from four. Ready? Four. <laughs> B. Bicycle. Chihuahua. Oh, it's good stuff, isn't it? It's good stuff. I think I think only the English appreciate some another English person's slurp. No one wants a big slurp, but a little one, it's like, yeah, go on, get in there, boy, you'll be all right. Yeah, that's great stuff. And I love the way a non-English will have a sip of tea and all the other English are loving it, like, whoa. And the non-English person's like, it's just sort of like tasteless water, watery. Anyway, foot, foot golf's coming home. My last dream super grift plan is working. Don't forget my 10%. Do some pretend crying. The crying dollar is massive. My super... My last super stream Griff plan is working. Oh, okay, I I get you. <laughs> yeah, you should have stayed a comedian. Those two gigs were brilliant, Rich. Well, Sean, thank you for the donation, Richard. That's very kind of you. Sean, 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 what is up? What's the point in an interconnected world then? I don't know what you're talking about. YouTube is transient anyway. When I say when I say I got up to twenty six thousand viewers, that ain't that ain't one person going up to twenty six thousand. That's one person going up to about five thousand. Then the first few leaving, a few more coming, few more leaving, a few more coming, and by the time you get to twenty six thousand. 10,000 of the first lot have gone. YouTube's transient. People move on. They change their ideas. They change who they like. You know, make... Look, we've proven that you can make communities. Do it. Don't expect other people to always do it. If that's your issue, see that it can be done and, and go make it make it get done. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just get these ones on here done. Or I'll get in all sorts of trouble. TV Dinner Master Chef said, some free money from you, mate. <laughs> Use your streams as an excuse to take an hour. <laughs> Why didn't you talk in the chat more? You sound hilarious. Used to use your streams as an excuse to take an hour crap at work. <laughs> <laughs> Need to keep that rouse up now or risk looking lazy. Oh dear. That's brilliant. Oh, is that the time? I need to use the toilet. <laughs> Sitting there on your iPhone headphones plugged in. <laughs> Thank you, TV Dinner Master Chef, for your donation and your um uh <laughs> a good joke. Our pal, wait. I am going to be doing something else, okay? There is something else I will be doing. No, no worries, Sean. Is it all, all always easy to get confused on? Uh, on, on the old chat, in it. Hello, Yiz. Yiz says, it is a lot of work. I'll, I'll look at this. Yiz, relatively new channel. It is a lot of work. I've been putting 30 to 60, let, let's say 45 to, an, to average that, 45 hours a week into my channel for three years. 
Mm. I've not even made a thousand dollars in total yet. Forty-five hours a week, not even made a bag of sand. And years is 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 full nationalist politics. And and years is quality. Years is quality. As soon as I saw years' streams, I said to all the scrubs, sign, mm. go subscribe to years. Because it's it's on it's right on the money community building, and uh, you know about eighty percent of its luck anyway. I did I did never read Camden Parasite, no. But I do know Daniel Lux, weirdly. I'll have a look at your boy uh, I won't have a look at my boythem, but I'll have a look at that. It's a good title. It's a good title. It tells me a hell of a lot. IR says you've hurt more people than most, Chris. Think you've earned it. That's very kind of you, IR. Moody Edge says, do an hour a day. No one demands four hours a day, to be fair. doesn't. It's not that simple because then, then on top of that, you've got to do all the getting involved with everything else that's going on. You've also got to socialize with, with the community or they don't invite you on their channels. If they don't invite you on their channels, you don't grow because YouTube aren't helping any of us. Problem being now... That the, the the community is all made up of the same people. You go, you go, you go and watch a stream by so and so. The chat is pretty much the same chat as in so and so. You know. Fionn McRon says, "To be honest, I don't know how people like Chris, Royce, Mersh, and Ethan Ralph do it, and I can assure you they're earning a bit more than me." No, I know, I know. Yep. Yeah, it's, it, it, is, it is emotional labour. Don't forget you've got people there in every stream in the chat telling you you're a cunt, which, to be honest with you, doesn't, doesn't bother you too much. But every other night, every day, it's like, oh, here's someone, <laughs> Bonnie lad is good, yes. I think we'll I think we'll see the end of the uh, this kind of streaming anyway. I think I think what we'll start seeing. I won't be doing it, but what you'll start seeing is is shorts. Your there it will be ten minute streams. People will come on, they'll bosh ten minutes out. It will be a, a monthly Patreon thing. And they'll do one a day. This, 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 this the climate, the, the political climate has changed so much that this is, this is too dangerous. It's too dangerous, and it makes you, it, it makes you too much of a target. Rise and shine says this is a no-brainer decision, in my opinion. Good times ahead. Yeah, there are good times ahead. There are. You know, it's done me. It, it, it's 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 done me. No, they don't win then because well, first for a start, you've got the clear pill, which I'm totally sold on, and I've had, I've now had five different anonymous people write to me with clear pill stuff, and it's blowing my mind. But other channels come up, new people come up, and they come up with more more. You know, they're living at their father's house. They don't have to pay the rent or pay for their food. They haven't got a girlfriend. They're virgins. <laughs> and uh, and they can do it. And they're, they're full of energy and they're full of excitement for it. Five years in, it's a little bit... <sighs> I have not been as tired as this. Ever. And you know what? I have been accused of being on drugs more times in the last few weeks 
the, the last four years put together. And I have been on drugs while streaming in the last four years more times <laughs> than all of this four weeks put together. And no one said a word. Maybe there's an answer there. <laughs> No, I'm not. Not really. No, I've uh, I've tired myself out. I've I've I've, uh, I've I've burnt myself out, and something's got to go. And I want to write more than I want to make videos. I've done my video bit. You know, I I enjoy telling the stories. You can't really. I want to. I'd like to talk about different things, and this isn't the place for it. And so, I'm off ski. Hello, mate. Rara of Sunshine. Just stopping in to spread some love in your direction. I miss your live streams, my friend. Nice one, man. You've been about a while as well. JD Solway. Stephen Campbell said to wish you all the best. Nice one, Campbell. Nice one, Solway, for doing that for him. Ah! Ah, if it's not my boy, <laughs> you will be missed, but I get it. Helped me out in the early days as well. If I remember rightly, I was on one of your n favorite new um, creators. I'm, I, I don't like to say that and get it wrong because it's a bit embarrassing, but I think I was. I certainly was on the Iconoclast, and I said that in a video I made about him. And then when I'd, when I'd uploaded the video, I thought, shit, you should have checked with him first. Cause if you weren't, but, um, if I, if I wasn't, <laughs> but of course you get it. Of course you get it. Of course you get it. But thanks mate. And it was a real laugh on your stream the other day. If you want to pass my number on, she's fucking hell, man. What? What? I, I, I don't know how you do those streams with her. I, I, I well, you've you've got you've got a different relationship with her, but I, I, <laughs> everyone said to me that she and I don't stop talking, does she? And I was like, yeah, I know. I was staring at her, not caring, hoping she'd talk forever. <laughs> Look after yourself, my boy. <laughs> Howard Long, thanks for all the crack. And giving up the crack, Dangerfield, much love. And well done to you, Howard Long. Well done to you, my friend. Table on the roof, eh? Maybe someone else will make one. Randall wants tears. Ah, it's unlikely, mate. Moz Lab loves you fucking Brit, so... I'm saving you till the end. I'm talking. I'm going to mention you more towards the end. You, you, you ain't getting away with this. You ain't, you ain't getting away with without some emotion. You don't have to hang around for it though. But you know, <laughs> here you go. Not a problem, Jack. Ragnar said, 126 likes. Smash that like button, folks, or I'll pay you a visit. Yeah, but Rag Ragnar, people like you. No one's gonna like it anymore. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna want you to come around. That's something I didn't know what I was talking about. Right, hang on, hang on. Nearly done, nearly done. There are things to say, there are things to say. If I've missed any, don't worry. Nice one, 42. Thank you for all your um, contributions in the chat. You've been, you've been a, you've been there, you've been a regular contributor and it's been good. Ed Wolf says, "How can one find your books?" Well, the first and only one I published is that is that is not published anymore. So, well, you can still pick it up, but I wouldn't bother. It's crap. Um, 
when I publish them, I will then be turning up on people's YouTube channels to do little interviews. And uh, I will be, at, towards the end of this, this uh, video, I'll be telling you about a new platform that I'm going to be part of that you can, uh, you can find me on. It's called Substack. For the people who are thinking of going, it's called Substack. Let me um, let me find you the right link. Right, yeah, look, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna keep in touch with me, that's where I'm gonna be. I've just put the link in the chat. Semi a gog. Damn. Well, you'll be missed. Yeah, I was thinking about you earlier today. Um, someone who who I feel I would have become good friends with. And uh, um, that's embarrassing if you didn't. But um, I'll, I'll be I'll be accessible through that Substack lark. Thank you, Ed Wolf. How can you find your books? Well, like I said, you can't at the moment. But this year there'll be about five out. There'll be there'll be a big three four hundred pager. There'll be the free crack diaries, and there'll be two books of short stories. So get on that Substack. Um, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Um, yeah, I, I, it was true. I made your shit lord of the month. Okay, okay, good, good, good. That's good. Our oh, pal says 410 watching, you should quit every day. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Al Max says, Dangerfield, I'm sure you'll be back soon, but if not, you've done your bit. I like to think I've done my bit, and I'll be doing this Substack thing, so keep an eye on Substack. I've put enough links in the chat now for you to be able to see it. All right, let me just do a couple of these. Fionn McRon dropped a cockle. I'll miss your streams, Chris, but I will look forward to your books when they get published. Our loss on YouTube will become our gain in literature. Have some 420 on me. God bless. Yeah, yeah, they will. We've no one yet be up in telling me what I can and can't say. We've no me, 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 none of all that. No, this is this is I'm allowed to write. Just thank you, Fion. That's very kind. Packer drops a score. Good lord. Thank you so thank you, Chris, so much. Especially thank you to all the regular scrubs. It's been real fun. I will miss the chat the most. And Mrs. Packer is gonna miss your sexy voice. Love to you and your missus and the scrubs from the Packers. That's lovely, man. That really, really is lovely. And I'll miss the chat as well. I wouldn't do this video. I wouldn't do this stream about the chat. It's like, do you remember those times when the chat didn't work? It, what's the point? This, 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 this was a community. Without the chat, it's like, nah, this is a YouTube channel with some bloke going, oh, and then I've done this, and then I've done this, and I think this. No, let's let's see what we've all got to say about it. Sam Mac offered me help, didn't know me. If you're evil, world ace. There you go. <laughs> I know what the first bit meant. The second bit's thrown me a bit. But thank you, Sam.
Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Ed Wolf, you might be back at some point, won't you? No. Now, like I said, when it comes round to the time I'm publishing a book, I'm, I might turn up on a couple of other people's streams to promote it. That's when you're liable to see me on places like YouTube. But only then. But only then. It's just not for me anymore. You know, they, they treat you like shit. You, you don't understand that. It's hard to explain how, what it's like being treated like shit. William Levana says, are you keeping the channel up, though? For about three months. I'm doing it for about three months. I've got all my videos on a hard drive, an external hard drive, so that my, uh, my editor can transcribe from them if need be. But it's easier from YouTube. So I'm going to keep them up. So that he can um, he can work from them until until you know he he, uh, he has to. Today's today's. Have I missed something? It's over. I'm ending my channel, and you knew it. So that's what's happening there. The channel will be up for a few months, and then it's gone forever. Nice one, years. For people who don't know that. That Substack thing, it's like a it's like a blog, it's like a newsletter. You sign up to it, and every now and again, I'll send you a I'll send you a a, a new a, a, a newsletter, and it'll be like it could be hundred words, it could be a thousand words, and then later on down the road, you can monetize it, and you might be at you'll get specials like I might do a three thousand words Saturday night special. And you you pay like a fiver, and you get you get that month's special. But I wouldn't worry about the monetization. But it's quite cool because it's a it's a newsletter for me. So you get to hear me yap about stuff. You get to read it, and there's the option of podcasts as well. So occasionally, I'm, it might be me and might get see if I can grab old semi or I hypocrite or someone like that by the back of their neck and drag them in for a little podcast or something. So that subs that that scrub stack, I've just seen you call it scrub stack, it is good use, is uh, worth a pop. I'll give you the link. I'll pop the link in the chat again. Yeah, sign up to that. Because that will that'll start happening soon. That will start happening in like two or three weeks. You'll get an email one morning from me, and it will be it will be a fun. I, I, I'm a good writer. I'm a better writer than I am talker. And if you enjoy my 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 streams and my videos, you I think you'll enjoy my my writing. Rose English, long time. Second super chat. You won't miss blanking me, right? Where's that first one? I'm not having this. Don't worry, I've got a load of stuff going down on. Hang on. Right, hang on. Sam Mac, I missed. Paper said evil. If evil helps randoms, world's heaven. SB said, I suppose the OG scrub it better say goodbye too. Keep in touch, Mr. Chris. I'm sure I will. Has your Gulag got planning permission? Two streams a day is a lot of time. Thanks, Chris. Best of luck, old chap, said today's today's. Rose English said, second super chat. Won't miss you blanking me. Sorry, love. They're coming at me from all angles. I'm really gutted. Please stay in touch. You and the scrubs have helped me so much. Lots of love. Your other super chat weren't far away though, so how comes I missed that? Because I notice I've missed a couple of others there, so they're gonna get arsy with me. Yeah, I did miss a couple of others. That's a real shame. That is a real shame. No worries. But I'd like to apologise, Rose, all in one go for missing so many 
of your um, um, donations, which would it would appear I certainly do do. Right now, let before we get down here too far. Right, so we've done that one. Back back to entropy. Cold cheer. Drop me a cockle on entropy. I'm sad, but not surprised. Hope to maybe see you on Odyssey at some point. No, kicking Odyssey. One final time. If I knew you were quitting, I'd have baked a cake. <laughs> um, as your gulag got planning permission, said two, two streams a day is a lot of time. Thanks, Chris. Today's today, he said, best luck, best luck, old chap. Oh, can Tom Tom. Oh, I can Tom Tom, you mean. Oh, can. <laughs> I can Tom Tom. <laughs> There's Rose again. You might be back at some point. Um, that's Sam's. That's Packers. That's Fionn's. Ed's. B, VB, dropped two quid that I missed, said all the best. Deadbeat chest that I missed said, I wish you well, Dangerfield. Love you. Love the scrubs. Peace. Thank you, mate. You've always been very active and very generous. Ra of Sunshine dropped seven quid into um, Patreon as well. Charles Freck would appear that I missed that one as well. I haven't missed you, by the way, uh, Rose. It's here. Charles Freck said, Makes me wish I'd been around more, but alas, life. I wish you all the best in your future endeavours, both public and private. All great things end eventually. It's been good. I look forward to finally reading the book. Good luck. Thank you, Charles Freck. Rose English said, really gutted, Chris. Please promise to stay in touch. Love the scrubs. Love you all. Jez Wales said, Unwashed is getting very excited in his bedroom at the thought of getting some of your donations now. <laughs> don't, leave, don't leave poo tube, Chris. Take a break. Nah, Jez. It's gone, mate. I'm a writer. I'm not this. My, my time. I'm not, I haven't got the excitement for it. And look, uh, once I've... Let me just get through these. Tech Roach says, wait, what the fuck? First stream I come back to is your last. Right, we've done all those. Jez dropped a bullseye and said, thank you. All the best for the future. Done that one. Chrissy R said, thanks for the... Oh, actually, hang on. Jez dropped 50 quid. Thank you, Jez. Thank you all and all the best for the future. Thank you, Jez. That's very kind. Chrissy R dropped three quid and said, thanks for the laughs, Chris. You've been a massive help through the lockdown. Sorry to see you go. Much love to you and Mrs. Danger. Good luck with everything. Hack61, me old cockle, said, oh, well, mate, looks like your last cockle. <laughs> Good luck in all you do, fella, and thanks for the ride. Love to all the scrubbers, and let's keep ourselves real. Mrs. Me in it dropped a bullseye. The, 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 but the, 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 the partners, me in it, have both dropped a bullseye. Gonna miss you in the scrub. So here's, so here's a pony. <laughs> but it's not a pony. <laughs> I think a pony is 25. Anyway, so here's a pony. Now buy that bloody guitar. Where That's all coming. Don't worry. It turns out FedEx will pack a, pack a, a guitar and send it. So don't worry. I'm getting my guitar sent, and I will, hold, I will hold myself to that. Don't think I don't think it every time I pick up that stupid lump of wood over there. It's coming. Ed from Queens dropped another score, said, I searched expat, expat Cambodia about a year ago, and I found you. Loved watching you every day and will miss you. Thank you, Ed. Vladiato Babikov has dropped 50 euros. Vladiato Babikov, don't recognize the name anyway, says, Chris, I've watched for close to a year now. You've been a lifesaver through this lockdown. I've never commented, but I've lurked on almost, almost every video, and I want to thank you for all the streams. I wish you all the best for you and your missus. Much love, 
Scrubs Rising. That's very kind of you. That really is very kind of you. Someone who's lurked, never said a word, and then has just, just said that. So what a lovely sentiment. Clark said, Clark dropped 20 quid and said, oh, man, what a journey. Thanks for the last four or so years. They were fun. Hope to see you again somewhere. Hans Worst said, I'm amazed how much good you had to say for such a long time with, without talking bullshit most of the time. Is your telegram uh, still up? Yeah, but my telegram's one way. It's not a, It's not something you can... Unless I put the... Co I mean, unless I get the comment spot going, which I do sometimes. Uh, it's, uh, it's just, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, like a, it's not a group. It's a me speaking thing. Paddy Burns dropped a cockle. Thanks for all the laughs. Sad to see you go, but all the best for the future, Chris. We've had that one. We've had that one. We've had that one. Um, Years drop to fiver into entropy. I've loved you in the scrubs for the scant year or so I've known you. I wish you all the best wherever life takes you, friend. We'll have a drink at that never-ending cocktail party in the sky one day. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jesus. Reese Bond said, a last symbolic one with best wishes from Grim FPV. Uh, that old name, that was one of the weirdest name changes ever because no one... No one could work out who he was. And, and it's hard to say, Grim PV. What? what? <laughs> John Morton said, thank you very much. Thanks for all the great streams. I came for the politics and stayed for the fun of the community. Right, we're back at the beginning now, aren't we? So we, we can go back over here. There are other things to say, though. I have, I have got other things to say. Don't worry. We've we've definitely got that right. I can't go any higher. So if I've missed anyone, I apologise. Sam Max back. Paper said evil. If evil helped random worlds, heaven. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, I miss the cryptics the most. Uh, no bit shoot. No, no, no video. I want to. I want to be a writer. I've wanted to be a writer since I was twenty. You can't be a writer and have a job and spend four or five hours a day on YouTube. Doesn't work, and it's it's killing me. You know, when I spoke to my doctor about my little calendar, he said, "What do you think? Looking at that, what looking at that calendar? What do you think?" And I said, "Well, I'm not getting a lot of rest, am I?" He said, you ain't getting any. He said, even when you were sleeping four hours a day, he said, that's all right. A lot of people sleep four or five hours a day. Some For some people, that's all they need. He said, but even when you were doing that, there were times when you'd sit and watch a movie. There'd be times when you'd sit up, you'd just lay down with your girlfriend for a couple of hours. He said, I'm looking at that calendar and all I'm seeing is busy, 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 active. He said, it's not, it's not helping you. He said, you look like shit. You sound like shit. Something's got to go. And I can drop out YouTube and, 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 and just use half the time of that for writing. Still two hours a day. I can, I can, I can, I can leave that. I can, I can do four hours writing every two days. Lovely. That's perfect. Things change, people. I think, uh, you know, change scares us, change upsets us because change reminds us of ourselves. And when change happens, it reminds us of ourselves changing. And I can understand, I can understand it. I've been here before myself. I've sat watching YouTubers saying this is the last, the last one. And I've been like, shit, no way, man. You can't do that. You're part of my life. 
And then I've just thought of the arrogance of that. You, you can't do that. You're part of my life. How about thinking about them? I'm not talking about you, but I was talking about me. Mm. How about thinking of what they want, what they need, requirements that they need in their life? And I thought, yeah, all right, I'll accept it. Again, we get it, it comes back to acceptance again, doesn't it? Gets back to acceptance. We've said it. Oh, look, our little friend is in the mirror again. Hello. You all right, you creepy little bugger? <laughs> I'm going to have to sort that out later. I don't know how near to it I can get before I run out and jump out the opposite window, though. Probably when it turns its head and goes, you want to live or die? <laughs> Yes, James Ofsky, mate. Pastures new. Pastures new. That's the, that's all right then. No, I didn't. I bloody did not. I said that. I said the couple, me and it, both gave a bullseye. I bloody didn't. I said the couple, me in it, both gave a bullseye. I'm sure I did. Yeah, I did because I also commented that you said here's a pony, but you give me 50 quid, which ain't a pony. <laughs> I didn't miss it. See, this is the kind of stress you get. <laughs> you get you get hormonal. <laughs> I bet Mr. Me in it's hiding under the sofa at the moment while she's walking around the place with a fucking tennis racket. <laughs> I did not miss it. I did miss a few others, but it is hard to keep track of them. YouTube doesn't um, doesn't hold them all in there. It actually does run off the screen sometimes, which is shocking. I am trying to catch them all. I really am. But I'm trying to catch them all as well as deal with uh, uh, questions. Like there's a few more here that I just want to get. I just want to get done. Willow Wookie, hello, mate. The man who amazed me. Willow Wookie is really into his scents, right? He's really into his colognes. And I've mentioned my cologne a couple of times. Maybe three or four times I've mentioned it. And I've mentioned how it is every day I wear it, someone, usually a bird, will say, excuse me, just passing me in the street. Excuse me, what is that? Even in Cambodia. And they come right up close and go, and they, it's like they want to eat it. And they're like, what is? And I don't tell anyone. And, I, and Willow Wookie wrote to me, and he, he said he's got about 200 cents. He's, he's, it's something he's into. It's one of the things he's into, which is fair enough. And um, I, I said, look, I'm going to give you two guesses. And I'm not going to keep saying, I'm not going to give you endless guesses because you'll just go through every cent until you get it. You get two guesses. First guess he had, wrong. Second guess, he fucking got it. And, and the way he got it, by basically triangulating the three or four things I said about it online, on the internet, bang, 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 made the connection. I bet you went, it's got to be, because you don't get that without that and that. And I bet you did. I bet you thought it's got to be. And he wrote back to me, just with the name of it, and I went, you fucker. I, I, but I was blown away. I didn't give him any more info. I didn't say you can have two guesses, and here's your last tip. No, I said you can have, you can have two guesses. I've given, I've given out all the information I'm prepared to give out, and I don't give it out because it's too good. It's, it's bitch magnet stuff. I'm, I'm not joking. And he, he got it. He got it. And uh, I was amazed. And he's come on. He's come on a few live streams in the uh, in the uh, uh, explorers and heroes streams. And he's quite a quiet lad. And for him to come on those showed quite a lot of balls. Actually, he kept his 
Ed Arf out of screen, but he joined in and uh, it was a pleasure to have him. He says, this is the second most upsetting thing on the channel since you've been the LSDJ. <laughs> Going to miss you in the scrubs. Good luck with the book. Good luck with the books, Willow. I will be putting out books from now on until I die. But I know what you mean. Thank you very much. Good luck with the sense. Go easy on that special one, though. And people, when people ask you what it is, because they're going to... You see how little information you need to give people before they have it, and then every fucker will have it. Whereas at the moment, it's me, you, and KM. Thanks for the cockle as well, mate. And it's been a pleasure getting to know you. Skag 100, good luck with everything you do. Top man you are, and good luck. And thank you for the streams. Not a problem, Skag100. Appreciated. Renaissance Man says, Sorry that this is the last waltz, Chris, but I wish you all the very best in this crazy journey called life. Take care of yourself, fella. Catch you later. Ta-da. Alistair Williams, comedian, says, Go and join his channel. He won't quit on you all. There you go. You can go and listen to QAnon and uh, and they won't quit on you. It wasn't. I'd done it about four times. Unless you've done two. Did you do two? <laughs> Loads of entropy missed. But I'm, there were, I'm looking at entropy now and I'm... I done mouse cat. Right, these are all the entropy I've got. Here's the last donation on the tubes. I understand, mate. Right, I did do that one. I did do respawn. I did do years. I did do Paddy Burns. Cheers for all the laughs. Sad to see you go for all the best for the future, Chris. Maybe I didn't do Paddy's. I did do Vladi Oto Babikov. I done Hack 61. I did Jez. Jez's Bullseye, I done Chris's Free, I done Ra of Sunshine, I done Cold Cheer, and that's all I've got on uh, on um, Entropy. I, I I didn't I didn't miss any any more of those. There's no more there. Why delete the channel? Um. Because I don't want all that material out there. I don't. With the climate's changed. The climate's changed, and also I want to produce them as written works. If you look, if you go to my channel, not not there's not including the streams, but most of the, um, the the other stuff is my stories, and I want them as written. I want them in the written form because they're different. You know, that's that's just me chatting the rough. But when I get a chance to structure them and uh, add to them and, and 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 take things away, you know, I I've told stories that were meant to be written pieces, so I can write them. And I don't I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to be helping out YouTube anymore. They they can fuck off. <laughs> but thank you for that five red. But it's a fair question. The point being, I, I want to be a writer. And I've done my four and a half years up here. This is like watching a hand grenade going off. Going to miss your ramblings, you lunatic. <laughs> Thank you, IP. 2020 come in there. There's still like 10 entropy messages. All right, I will, I will refresh it. But I've read all the ones I can see. And the problem is you you refresh it, they all poxy disappear. Let me see if any more appeared. 
I did get a, a nice one from my friend. Willennial Mose. I miss Mad Lizzie. It's, it, it's not been this sad since you left Facebook. <laughs> um, Ed Wolf, what about a yearly Christmas special? The Danny Buckler Show. Thanks for all the laugh. Got on me through many a long night. A day without yesterday. Thanks, Chris. Keep that sharp mind of yours in good health. We need it in the future with what's coming. Margin Walker dropped a tenner. Danger. This was great fun while it lasted. Started writing every day now. Start writing every day now if you didn't already. It was always, I've always wanted to be a proper writer as well, so I totally get it. Much love from the continent. Thank you, Margin Walker. Jess dropped another one. So much love for Chris and the Scrubs. Uh, we had we said that one. We had that one. We had that one. We've had that one. See, I can't see any more. I, I honestly can't see any more entropies. You do realise the grey ones on entropy the gray ones are super chats the gray ones are super chats so they're not entropies that might be the mistake you're making the truth will set you free i'm sad thanks and good luck hail scrubs i'm sad too i really am white swan White Swan told me who White Swan was earlier. Oh, yeah, I remember. I don't want to get confused about it, but um, thank you for being there when it mattered most. Wishing you and Mrs. D all the happiness in the world. You deserve it. Likewise. Likewise. Thank you very much. Here's the problem. People are saying, why don't you leave the channel open and just do something now and again, right? But the problem with that, with something like YouTube, it means that there's always something in the background. There's always this sort of niggling discrepancies that can come and get you out of nowhere. You know, like, imagine, imagine the Times do another article like that. And they just they go through all my back all my back stuff. They grab a few things, they put it up, and suddenly there I am trying to be a writer, trying to tell stories, and 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 the world knows me as this bloke who's doing this other thing. And it's like, no, I don't want to give them that. I don't want to give them that that power over me. I want to say a couple of things. I want to say uh, I want to say uh, a very special thank you to uh, Jewel Citizen, who was the uh, who's who, who was the moderator for all the new all the new wave of sort of nationalist channels who came along. They all came along. Loads of new ones come along. It was a, it was at that there was that eruption. There was that eruption of, uh, you know, PA had just invented themselves and were uh, come out of nowhere. Uh, everyone was excited. There were channels coming up left, right, and centre. And JC just was bang. I I'll moderate it. I, I ain't working at the moment. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fucking boring. And the thing about the thing about when you're a moderator, the thing about when you're a moderator. When you get it right, no one notices. No one notices when you're getting it right. And it means sitting there reading everything. And it, and not only that, when you read something and someone else says, Oi, Oi JC, they're slagging off so and so, you, don't, you can't take their word for it. You've got to read the comment. 
then you've got to go back and read whoever said it. Then you've got to, you've got to find, you've got to read the whole conversation, where it come from. Then you've got to work out who's in the wrong. With the endless risk of getting it wrong, and then make a decision. And when you get it right, like I said, no one notices because life goes on. When you get it wrong, fuck me, they come down on you like an house of bricks. Dual citizen, what are you? Are you, are you a moderator or are you, or, or are you like a lefty or something? Are you controlled opposition? You, and he's just like, no, I just, I just give uh, 11 hours a day of my time free trying to keep the chat flowing actually <laughs> it's just absurd so massive thank you to jc but also and this one is this one is uh quite emotional for me actually can we can we have a can we have a jc in the chat please because uh you know he he, he just came here and there were times when me and him fell out. And these are other things people don't know about being a YouTuber. You fall out behind the, in, in the background. You fall out on emails. Big page and a half emails. Oh, and there's the 500 emails I've got to deal with. Most days I have about 200. That's another hour. And it is an hour because while you're answering the top 10, by the time you get to the second 20, the top 20 have answered. So you're going again, you're going again, you're going again. And so that's another hour. So you can now, now you can make that six hours a day, all right? For less money than my real job. That's my grift. Yeah, what a grifter. Oi, take, take, real, take more money off me, all right? But oh, let's get those JCs in there because... Uh, He's been there and he, he's been needed. <clears throat> but the next one I want to talk about, while there's still plenty of people here, is Mosaic Labrador. Now, I'll tell you something. I'll put every penny I have on this. And that ain't a lot, but it's, all, it's everything I have. If I met that geezer in real life, in a boozer and we started talking I doubt it would last more than 20 seconds 20 minutes 30 minutes it would it would just uh, be like a peculiar sort of you know it'd be it'd be turning to his missus and going oh, it's just one of those arty bastards and I'll be turning to my missus and going, uh, it's guns and, you know, hunting and this fuck knows, fuck knows. And it just wouldn't have happened. And then even, even when he stayed, and even when he was moder a moderator, I remember thinking, this is an odd one. And I think he, I think he offered it. I think he said, I'll do it. Because JC had to go. JC got a job. And Mosaic Labrador said, I'll do it. And I was like, all right, let's see how this goes. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. He's become a special friend of mine. We don't talk all the time, but we do exchange emails. And he has softened up to talk to me because he knows I'm a, a work shy fop and I've seen him soften up a little bit and he's uh, he, 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 what, he tried to watch the painter and the thief and you don't do something like that you don't do it unless you trust the person that suggested it and that shows an element of trust that he trusted me now he was wrong to <laughs> he was wrong to but he did give it a go and we've had a couple of little falling outs but he's all there's been a couple of things going on in the background 
that me and him have had to deal with and we haven't quite worked out how we're going to do it. And I'm going to tell you something, right? I'm going to tell you something now. they blow your mind, this will. There were some people, there were some people used to come on this stream and they were weirdos. They were weird. There was something wrong with them. There, there was something unconvincing about them. And they, they used to throw a lot of money at the stream. But it was it started getting a bit pointless because I'd, I'd be talking about something quite serious. And then they'd just throw a tenner in and, and then it'll be like, I like watching drag racing on, on, on the Saturday sports show. And I'd be like, right, all right, okay, nice one. Thanks for the fiver. And then a couple of a couple of minutes later, 30 quid would come through. And it would be like, I tell you what, anyone tells me what to say, I'll turn up at their house and put an hammer through their head. And I'll be like, yeah, I don't know if it, I don't know if that's quite necessary. Uh, and 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 anyway, it got so peculiar and so bizarre that people didn't really know what to do with it. And uh, hang on, I'm just trying to keep this all alive. See what's going on over here. And um, Moslab, Moslab. Got hold of me behind the uh, behind the scenes. He said, "You, it, I'm not paraphrasing. I am paraphrasing. I mean, but it was worse to the effect of, you've got to get rid of those cunts." He said, "I know they're throwing a load of money at you, and I get that." He said, "But they 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 expect too much for it. If you throw money." You do that because you want to donate. You don't do that to buy airtime. And he was right. They were just buying airtime. And then it got to the point where someone else sort of said, can you be quiet because we're trying to talk? And he'd be like, fuck off. I'll give them more money than most of you. I'll get to say what I want. And it was like, oh, that ain't really how it works. And Moslab, listen to what he said to me. He said... He said, I'll send you the money. If you get shot of them, I'll I'll set I'll replace the money you lose. And I I said, No, I said we'll just get shot of them. And we actually luckily got shot of them by accident because they threatened to leave if we didn't do something. So I was just like well, in that case, <laughs> and so we're 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 never coming back. And you can imagine me and Moslab, but I'm going. Ah, thank fuck for that. But nonetheless, Moslab put his patron up through the roof. Not required, but much appreciated. So he he. I like it when when friends like that come together. In real in the real world, I doubt we would have done. And I reckon one day I'll meet him, and I reckon it will be a very interesting evening. And I re and I really rate him. I really rate him as a person, as a father, as a moderator, as a scrub. And just as a human being, just as a human being, I rate him. So can we have a Moslab, M-O-S, L-A-B, in the chat for Mosaic Labrador, moderator and strangest friend I ever had. And I have had strange friends in my world of weirdos and LSD junkies. But in his straight land, guns and jeeps world, he is the strangest friend I've ever had. And there's something about that that is just adorable.
He's uh, I'll miss him. Sign up to my newsletter, Moslab, or you're in trouble. Yeah, but you can sign up to the link I'm just putting in the description. And that will be my newsletter. I'll be pinging that out to you all. Don't worry, you'll get that. You'll get it. That'll be my girlfriend. Hello. I'm doing a stream. You can't uh, be naked with the red light on. No, it isn't. It isn't Joe Malone, Lion, Basil, or Mandarin, but it's a very lovely scent, bloke about town. Um, I'm just talking to my YouTube people. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm off. I'm leaving them. Do you want to say goodbye to them? Look, hello isn't goodbye, is it? Goodbye, my friend. There you go. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Deliver it, wind up. This newsletter thing, it's this sub stack. You sign up and I, not, I choose whether it's daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, and you get a newsletter from me. And I'm a writer and you get a little bit of writing. It might be something that it will be like the streams. It will be like the bag of rats. It will be little real life stories. If you if you still want to hear from me, sign up to sign up to that Substack thing. I think I got a few super chats that I missed there, but they should be over on. Uh, oh, here we go. Hang on a minute. Um. Well, we had that one. We had Margin Walker. Did we have the Danny Buckler show? Thank you for all the laughs. Got on me through a long night. Ed Wolf, what about a yearly Christmas special? Mad Lizzie, hasn't been this sad since you left FB. Illuminatus dropped a six into entropy. Don't forget my regular book marketing tips you promised to send. Bon voyage. Illuminatus, I'll let you know as I do them, I promise. And if you sign up to my newsletter, I will be explaining them while I'm doing them as part of the service because people are obviously interested in writing. So I'll say tonight I'm doing this or today I'm doing that, you know, but I can, I can email you it on your own anyway. But that service is free. There is a, they are talking about monetizing it. But it'll only be weird things like five or a month and you get an extra two. So, you know. But um, you, you're a great writer. And in your genre, you're smashing it. And it's been edited by someone who knows what he's doing. That book should be making you hundreds of thousands. And the only reason it isn't is because you're not marketing it. You think you think that book's going to stand up, walk off of the Amazon computer, and, and go and, and go and wake people up in the middle of the night and say, "Oi, go and order this," and then run away? That's the only reason. Mike Honk dropped a fiver. Good laughs. Thanks. Good luck to you. Thank you, Mike Honk. Brick dictator. Hello, my friend. He's dropped $25, he said, and I just figured out entropy. Don't rule out posting anonymously from to YouTube from many different channels. Never stop peeing in their pool. Well, there's other reasons why I can't do that, which I can't talk about at the moment, but 
you know enough about YouTube to know to be able to work that out. Actually, uh, you you might be able to work that out. I'll, I'll see if I can communicate with you. I've got an email from your thing. If I haven't, email me and I'll tell you because you deserve to know. Little Red said, more grift corn. Leon the Froggy said, thank, think you are doing the right thing. We'll miss you dearly. You got me through the lockdown when the government made my life illegal. Take care, mate. Linda Hunter dropped a score. Lucky for the scrubby sense. Got the tissues out. Best wishes for your future endeavours. Oh, thank you, Linda. Don't forget, I'll be getting out. I'll be getting out to uh, meet our Antipodean scrubs at some point, and I certainly will. And if I can get hold of, if I can get hold of Field Marshal Brown, and I can get hold of you. So don't worry about that. But by that time, you'll be like, "Who are you?" Oh, what that YouTuber from four years ago? Now nah, we're all into someone else now. <laughs> we all watch this other geezer now. He's got a party tonight, so can you make this quick? <laughs> That's Linda's. John, John, tell me now, and I want you to be one hundred percent honest. Is that really your rendition? John Francis sent me a bit of music to play today. He said, here's a different piece of guitar music if you ever want something different at the beginning of your show. Right? And I know it. It's Jose Maria. And I said... I said, yeah, but I'll get a community guideline strike before I play Jose Maria. And he said, it's not. It's me playing it. John, is that you playing it? Because if it is, I'm going to play 10, 10 seconds of it and I'll interrupt it so they don't do me. Our pal, our pal, have you heard John play guitar? Is he really that good? Our pal, have you heard him play it? That's a lovely way of putting it. Thank you. Thank you. There's there's plenty of other people who can take it up. No. <laughs> See, look, he's, he's arming and ahhing now. Have you heard him play guitar, Mr. Solway? John, John, is that you or not? Grego dropped a fiver into entropy. You took you took my griff to cherry, and we're very gentle and loving in the process. <laughs> Bless you, Dangerfield. Good luck in the future, Grego. Sign up to my uh, Substack. I'd I'd I'd, I'd, I'd be gutted if you missed it. Thanks for the donation, Rollo Vaughan. Drops a donation. Cheers, Chris. It's like a real mate leaving for a new job far away. Come back incognito and check out my uploads from time to time. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean as well. Hello, Barks. <laughs> I just want to know if it's... Um, He's gone. He's gone dead quiet, John has, which making me think it ain't him. It's fucking good. He can play, can he? I 
I just want to see. I just want to see good vid, John. On that, on that chat, say yes, it's me playing, and that he's not a Bengal lancer. Where is he? He's not doing it, you see. He's not doing it. An hour and 45 minutes into this, Deli, we, you might have guessed that we've covered this. I, I haven't got enough time to do it at the quality that I want and other things. I want to be a writer, Della. And I'm also struggling health wise. And I'm also I'm also not putting enough work into my day job. Something's gotta give. And I've been doing this for nearly five years. I think I've put my time in. You know, I'm not some twenty-two year old full of energy with living at my mother's house with no taxes to pay and all that. I'm a bloke who's nearly 50 who's looking to buy a house or build a house for his girlfriend so he can have a family. So I've got to work out where my time is best spent. He's off, is he, Moslab? See you later, my friend. We'll talk again. Of course we will. Of course we will. Ragnar says that is... John's playing. Why ain't John saying it? See you later, Moslab. Take care, my friend. You've been brilliant. Andrew's been here four plus years. LC50 drops a cockle. Chris, just a big thanks. You help me move on. Big scrub love. Not a problem, man. You still keeping it all good? You done well there for a while. See you later, see you later little red. Don't forget to join the old Chris Dangerfield sub stack. That's the place where you'll be able to keep in content. In, you'll be able to keep in contact with my content. And there it is in the link. It's that. Where's John? Where's John Francis telling me that that's in plain? It's weird that it won't. It's weird that he won't. Or maybe he's just lost his bottle about hearing it. Vert. Vert. Charioteer. Long time. All the best, mate. And to you. And to you. Sign up to that. Sign up to that thing and get, get on my newsletter. Thank you, Charity. It's very uh, kind of you. He has answered, has he? John confirms. Where is it? Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. All right, okay, so check this out, people. I can't play I can't play the whole thing because I'll get because it's someone else's piece of music, even if you're playing it, you get done. But hello Riggle, nice to see you, Riggs. But I will play little bits of it. All right, and it'll have to be through the mic because it um it came through um Oh, hang on. So this is this is a Jose Maria place, and John Francis says it's him. And it's fucking good, but I can only play, and I'll have to interrupt it. But just have a listen to this, and it's going to have to go through the the speaker here. So I'm just turning it up a bit. Ragnar, there's another place to get me. Get me on the uh, look. I'll put the link in the description again. 
you'll get regular writing coming from me. <laughs> what you've done for Mandel has been brilliant. <laughs> Certainly been good fun, isn't it? I never did get that T-shirt done with all the scrubs. I might still do that. That might be a last scrubs T-shirt. Only take a couple of hours. Right. So here we go. Here's a bit of a uh, John playing guitar. I will have to interrupt it. I'm afraid. It's always those bits you don't want to interrupt you that that you kind of have to. I think you can get ten seconds. Another little stop there. Amazing, isn't it? Old Johnny Boy Francis. Stop it there as well, I'm afraid. I have to pretend I'm making a commentary on it, you see. But we'll have a couple more bits of it. And if anyone wants it, I'll work out a way of sending it. go i think we should have a we should have a good tune in the chat for that it's uh quite something quite something and you know i know the jose maria piece and so when he played when i when he said play this i thought hang on a minute Fucking Jose Maria. And he went, oh, yeah, but I'm playing it. And I was like, what? And he went, oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Well done, John. John, you've been an absolute legend as well in the scrubs. You're, you, you've been to almost every, every stream we've ever had. And you've 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 actually managed to change the language of of a, an entire amount of people. You know, people. It, 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 I haven't seen G double O D in years. It's just good, and just <laughs> it's uh. It's, you've been quite the character, man. And I know you've had your hard times. And you know what? I think that's one of the things that has really defined the glorious house of scrubs is that when people have, a, have had hard times, they haven't pretended. They haven't They haven't all manned up and gone, no, nah, I'm all right, no, nah, fucking life's great. They've actually said, no, nah, it's shit. I'm having trouble. This is going wrong. This this ain't happening, you know. And and I think that's really defined us. And it's really and it's you know the amount of people we got clean, the amount of people who outright hello frog squatch, the amount of people. Um, that's my uh, sub stack again link. That's where you'll get newsletters off of me if you want. If you want them, you join that up. It'll probably be once a week for, for a while. Um, you'll get, I'll put it in the, in the, in the stream again because I know they get all choked up.
Maltria, I said, no one ever got judged in here even. No, and if they did, they got the band hammer slammed down on their useless heads. And I think it inspired other people because other people would be like, you know, you'd see that and they'd be at home cringing, thinking, how can you, how can you be that open? How can you expose yourself and be that vulnerable in front of so many people? But they'd see that person do well. They'd see that person improve in life. And they'd be like, no, I'm going to give it a go. And they'd do it. And they'd be pleasantly surprised. And that stuff's good because it reminds people. It reminds people that you can, you can improve in life. <laughs> keep dropping it in um we we got about 30 or 40 people clean by the way let's not let's not forget what what an amazing thing that is and we done that i mean they done it they done it by putting their own effort in but they done it because they were they were offered support a group of people who, who clearly cared about them, who offered them emails, who offered them um, identification, who said, look, if you need to write to me, if you need to write to so-and-so, just swap emails. If you, if, you, if you live near someone, we can certainly find someone and put you together so you can just have a conversation. And I think, I think that's quite amazing because that sort of stuff spreads because that person that got clean then his mates come around all out of their head going hey, you up for a few drinks tonight john and they're like no i don't i don't drink anymore and the geese have all puked down his chest and one pound 20 in his pockets like what are you fucking talking about i've got a game boy to take to fucking what's it called what's that place where people take stuff i can't remember what it's called that would have been better if i had well what's it called that pawn that pawn shop that turned into a um turned into a oh man i can't i can't cash converters yeah you got one pound 20 in their pocket i've got a game boy i'm gonna take down cash converters come on we can get half a pint between us. And the geese is like, no, I'm done with it. I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to read or I'm going to watch something on, I'm going to watch a movie. And then the other geezer goes home and starts thinking about it and thinks, how has he done that? Has he stopped living this awful life? And then he starts thinking about it and he starts thinking about it. I can remember the cash converters in Dartford. It opened at eight o'clock in the morning, right? Half past seven, there was a queue of junkies the, the, the length of Loch Ness. I am telling you, just a mile long of junkies with all their parents' gold and God knows what. And it was just like, oh, here we go again. All trying to rush to get to the front. And, then, and, and of course, because they're junkies in their head, they're going to get £100 for this bit of gold. Gets looked at, gets the old magnifying glass out, puts it on the scales, 20 quid. And they're like, that's worth about 120. And the geezer goes, 20 quid, do you want it or not? And they're like, yeah. <sighs> see you later, see you later, dad's engagement ring, 20 quid. Shocking. Right, people, look, we've done two hours. Look, let, let me just end this with, look, I get a lot, I've still got a lot of emails that I've got to get through, and I will get through them. It might take a couple of weeks because I'm, I'm trying to rest a bit now. Um, a lot of people write to me and say, you don't understand that how much you've helped me or you don't understand the goodness you've done for people. 
Well, the, the the thing is, I do because I've had it myself. I've had it off of you lot myself. I've been part of this community. Just because I sit here with my silly hat and my silly glasses on, I am just a scrub. I'm not Captain Scrub. I'm not Sergeant Scrub. I'm just Scrub Dangerfield. And I, I have had a wonderful time here. And I'm not giving up because of the haters. You know, if any, if anything, the haters have added to the joy of it. You know, these people are just ridiculous. So it's not because of those. Nice one, little bullet. Good to see your face before we go. Bullet put a bullseye in. Give me a smile I can keep all the while in my heart while I'm away. Till we meet once again. You and I wish me luck as you wave me goodbye. Should it have been, give me a smile, I can keep it all a while. <laughs> Whatever I did, I didn't mean to murder it. But um, I will say, I will wish you luck as I wave you goodbye. And uh, Little Bullet, sign up for that Substack thing. You'll get a, you'll get a, a newsletter from me every week. If you want one, I'll put it in the chat again now. But I'll be sending all this stuff out to people. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's that. Thank you all for taking part in what has been quite the journey. I set up a YouTube channel to take the piss out of 70s adverts, got involved in social justice got involved in libertarianism, got involved in the free speech battle, got involved in the battle for the uh, demographic situation in uh, Europe, got involved in a community. And you know what? Out of all of that, the community was the, the thing that gave me the most. Because all the problems of the previous elements are based on that. They, they, they remain problems unless communities are formed and unless communities can grow. And we need this in real life. There are organisations out there doing it and COVID isn't helping. But once COVID has dried up, Try and get involved in some of them in real life um, communities because they're what are going to keep us strong and they're what are going to keep us going. It's been an absolute pleasure, people. I'm not going to rank any of you because you've all been brilliant. You've all brought something. You've all brought something special. And you've all brought something valuable to these streams. And those things are yourself. That's what you've brought to these streams that, that, that are special and of value yourself. And I know it might, I know it might take, you, uh, take, take you time and it might even take you a bit of cringing. But just remember... You are special and you do you are you have value just by being yourself. And the longer you refuse to accept that, the longer you let the people that bash that out of you win. So you are special and you are full of value and you've been brilliant. Sign up to that that sub check or whatever it's called i'll put the link in my telegram most days try and get a nice following up on there and you know we get another nice following up on there we get another nice community up on there doesn't have to be the end of a community it just takes it just takes a different form or i also get to be away from people i don't need to be and i don't i don't have to be i don't have to be around all the madness of youtube Stay strong, people.
It's been a real pleasure. It's been a real pleasure. Of course, I've got to do this again. It wouldn't have been fair for me to have uh, not had to double check that the audio is on. Look out for that link on my Telegram or wherever or pass it round places and uh, I will see you all again. Scrubs rising, people. I've literally spilled my tea. I've literally spilled my tea on my computer. Unbelievable. Fucking hell. <laughs> what a time. See ya. Ta da. Spilt my bloody tea. Um, sorry about that. Not the best ending, but you know, go and spill tea down your own end. Sign up to my newsletter and I'll see you soon. Thanks for that last flurry of super chats. Thank you to all what you've done in the house of scrubs. It's been brilliant. I'll see you in the newsletter. <laughs>